Hey guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, the show where we are showcasing Masonic items that we've acquired over the years to kind of preserve our history, where we came from, and uh, tell the stories of some of these items, whether those be personal or just history in general. Um, today on the show, I've actually got something I'll show you that is a, a bit of a collection. I know I collect a lot of things, and Masons collect a lot of things. Um, I collect knives, and so I've got several knives from you know, all over the world and different kinds, and some of them just happen to be Masonic. And so we're going to go to a cutaway right now, and I will uh, show you just a bit of the Masonic collection of knives that I have, some of which are also used, uh, they are straight razors used for shaving. Those have also been explained a little bit in a Midnight Freebasing post a few years ago, and I'm sure that you have watched a previous video right here on Masonic Curators, which talks about some interesting Masonic razors. So kind of in line with that, uh, check this out. All right, y'all will go ahead and not worry about the mess I've got going on up here. This is my uh, knife collection. Uh, well, part of it anyway. So I'll just kind of open it up here. Now it's not a ton. It's just some um, nice things that I've collected over time, some Swiss Army knives and things, but right away you might see a couple things in here that might speak to you. Uh, the first is this guy, you know, nothing nothing real special. You know, the United States doesn't really make steel anymore, um, so almost any knife you buy today is going to be uh, Chinese steel, uh, American design, Chinese steel, and it's produced over there and shipped back here. Um, so nothing real special about this, but uh, made Mason, it says, uh, in search of more light. And the other side doesn't have anything but uh, made in China. So just, you know, nothing real special. Uh, the other one that I've got, which is kind of cool, uh, the first Masonic straight razor I ever bought after I became a, a Mason, I bought this one. I had shaved for years with... Uh, with uh, straight razors. That's what my dad actually taught me how to shave with. Uh, this was the first one I bought after my dad's, I had to have my dad's redone. So normally they look like this, you know, they're hollow ground. So they're real thin. You see how they have this scoop that's called being hollow ground. And uh, if you ever see it and it just looks like a big triangular thing, like that's called a butcher wedge or a wedge or butcher blade. Uh, they're kind of interesting, right? But, um, you know, it's fairly nice. Gets a good shave. Now, as much as I've wanted to, I have never, ever used the Masonic ones to shave. Um, fairly certain they're cheap, you know, uh, this kind of fake pearlescent, uh, Of course, it comes out, and you can maybe read that. Let's see if I can focus. And it just says George Washington, the first Mason president. I mean, I mean that's kind of true, right? The Continental Congress, the first president of the Continental Congress was also a Mason. So uh, this is also uh, just another hollow ground. Yeah. This one, the the steel is made in Pakistan, so a little bit, a little nicer, I guess. I promise I won't cut myself while making the video. Uh, this is the other one that I I bought, and I think this one I just got from one of these odd companies. Yeah, so this is a butcher blade. This is a butcher blade. This one, uh, you can see how much different that looks. And look at that. So this is a butcher blade. It is sharp. You should never do that. Um, there's microscopic teeth, and now I'll have to use a strop to uh, straighten that out. But... Nonetheless, pretty cool. Still has oil on it. I've never really used it, but I just thought it was kind of cool. I saw it in one of those like knife catalogs, 
and the imagery is kind of cool on there so yeah that's about it uh, this one was made in Pakistan um, it's the only butcher blade I, I've ever owned um, I think they're generally they're hard to find if you guys ever find yourself a, a razor uh, and you find a butcher blade that's in good shape you should maybe buy it if it's reasonable almost everything that you find that's antique uh, this one here looks like it's got maybe some odd fellow markings on it FLT not really sure what that's for but see look at the big old chunk taken out of that bad boy uh, and most of them look like that so not something you're gonna want to use collect sure but don't use it I got this one for my father-in-law uh, who actually gave me my first real Masonic ring but uh, last but not least I guess I'll show you this one which I'm pretty proud of it's the only one that actually was given to me I didn't buy it um, it's really nice um, and it was actually given to uh, a lot of different guys who were in attendance of uh, the Grand Masters dinner a few years ago but nothing special just uh, probably made by Case or another company like it but there you have it some Masonic knives, and uh, that's it. So if you've got something cool, share it. We'll talk to you all next time, right here on Masonic Curators. Thanks.